So back in the 1100s, 1100s, there was a plot to kill an emperor. Um, the woman was caught. Her name was Tamamo no Mei, and she was caught. What they believed about her was that she was actually a demon or an evil spirit of a nine-tailed fox. So they killed her and trapped the spirit inside of a stone, volcanic stone. Later, that stone became known as the Killing Stone, and it was said to have killed anyone who came in contact with it. And this stone recently um, was split in two, so the people around that area are terrified that the spirit has been released. Now, one thing about the nine-tailed fox is that it is, you know, it, it, it's huge over in China, Japan, North Korea, Vietnam, and it is basically known as a shape shifter. Now, of course, details vary per culture, which is normal, um, but a couple of things that are in common is that it is a spirit that takes the shape of a beautiful woman, a shapeshifter, that takes the shape of a beautiful woman, seduces men, kills them, you know, steals their, their energy and their soul. So when you compare the stories of a nine-tailed fox, a close relation is that of a succubus. If, I mean, just me comparing uh, whether or not in any way, shape, or form they're related, who knows, but when there is the talk of a demon, the talk of a beautiful female, the talk of men not standing a chance and dying, I mean, the nine-tailed fox and the succubus kind of seem like they're more or less the same, and we know the cultures throughout history experience these same beings across the world, but they all have their own origin stories and their own tales about them. So to me, they're one and the same, but it's, it's extremely interesting that around the same time that it is coming out that the CIA is behind Bitcoin and they're trying to, for whatever reason they have, make this a one world currency, for again, whatever reason that they have, there is that. And then when you throw in, you know, Ukraine and Russia possibly being the start of World War III. And now we have a demon who has escaped or was let out of their, tr of their prison. This could be nothing it could be juveniles breaking things but one thing that i know about japanese and their superstitions is they take them very seriously so i i i know traditions are forgotten as time goes on and it's very well could have been some kids just doing something for social media and they accidentally broke it or maybe they broke it on purpose uh, and it was, you know, just vandalism. I mean, who knows? But the bottom line is, is that supposedly there is now a spirit that is roaming the earth free from prison. Throw in the other things that's going on in the world today. You decide if it's a coincidence or you decide if you need to buy firearms and start stockpiling food and figuring out what to do when Armageddon happens. I'll leave that up to you. I just wanted to bring this to your attention because it's something that is on my mind and hell, why not, why not bear the burden, share the burden a little bit. So just let me know what you think about all of this and hopefully it's all in my head as usual.